Have you ever wondered how card sharks get really good at controlling and finding cards in a pack? Even if you haven't wondered, you're about to find out right now. I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how these card ninjas do their thing. Uh, first of all, you take out, uh, say, the full... Oh, hang on. Before we get too stuck into this, we've got the uh, jokers, which we don't need. Um, but actually, I might come back to those later for another trick. So I'll pop them in the box uh, like that. And then we'll leave that off to one side. Okay. So um, we're going to start off with the deck being genuinely shuffled up. And of course, if you're a professional card cheat, you, you're going to choose some cards that would be good for your hand. So let's say the four kings, for example. Um, and then we're going to try and find the four kings from the different parts of the pack. The more spread out they are throughout the pack, of course, the more difficult it is. So in this case, if we use... Oh, well, this isn't so good because if we're using the kings here, they're all a bit blocked together. Um, so I'll tell you what, to make it more difficult, what we'll do is uh, we'll cut the deck into four different piles here. And then uh, we're just going to use one pile for each king. So then you know that everything is completely lost and everything's completely fair. So the first king here goes into packet number one, right into the middle, somewhere like that. Uh, then we've got king number two, which goes into this packet. So that's the bottom half of the deck. Now it has two kings, sort of evenly spaced throughout. King number three goes into this one. And we've got, of course, king number four, which goes into the top half of the pack. We'll just slip it in about here. So then when we reassemble those packets, it's going to be super hard for me to find the four kings because they're evenly spaced throughout the pack. To make it even harder for myself, I'm going to give myself a time limit to find these kings. Whatever the top card is, whatever number it is, that's the number of seconds I get to try and find the king. So it's a six in this case. Six seconds to find all four kings from the completely shuffled pack. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? It's going to be quite hard. Got to make it even harder for myself, though. Uh, I'm going to put the deck in my pocket so that I can't see the pack or feel it, really. And I'm still going to try it. Although with only six seconds, it's going to be tough. But the deck's going to go into my pocket here. And then when I click my fingers, if you start counting down for me six seconds, uh, it should get everything done. So go. One, two, three, four, five, six. My jeans are a bit tighter than uh, I wanted them to be. Um, to the untrained eye, it looks like this has all gone terribly, terribly wrong, to be honest. It looks like I've only been able to find one king, uh, which was this one. Uh, but I did better than you might think, because actually I found the other three kings and had started hiding them all around the table uh, without you seeing. I just didn't get a chance to do the last one. I know it seems unlikely, but I hid one of the kings under that card box right off to the side. Uh, which one was that? That was the uh, the King of Hearts was under the card box. And then you remember that Six of Clubs? I swapped that. I don't know if you saw me do that. Just right in front uh, of the table there for the King of Spades. So that means there's just one king left. And you won't believe where I managed to sneak this one. Uh, you remember the card box at the beginning? We took out some jokers and slipped them into the card case. Well, now there's a single card in between the jokers. And that just so happens to be the last king. 